Google Forms help you to create responsive forms for your website or for your Facebook and Twitter pages. Where are basically Google Forms are used? Google Forms can be used to make a some order form online or if you are having a some online company and you need some clients so you can also make a job application form or if you are have some personal business so you can make a contact form these are very easy to make and the best part is that they are spam free let's see that how you can make your responsive google form before that i will show you a demo of my own google form which is here and you can use your desired field lines and the best thing is that someone submits the form he needs to enter every information listed here when the field is being required now let's see that how you can create your own form first you need to go to your google drive and create a separate folder for your google form and right after that right click on it and go to the more options and here are google forms either you can select a blank form or you can select a built-in google form template so if you are not a developer and you don't know how to make a form you can select it from the template here is all the list of built-in templates by google and they are by name you can see that so you can select your own desired one and for this video we are going to select a blank template here is the interface of google form template and here is the name for the form so i'm going to name it as and it will be listed here so the name would be on both sides the same and we are going to write the description now what we are going to do next is we are going to make some fields for the form so here is the first field and we are going to choose it as a short answer and going to title it as name and the field is required so we are going to duplicate the field now and we're going to name it as email address and again we are going to make a duplicate you can also use a email collection string which is official by Google and you can change the options that limit to one response or edit after submit and you can also use these options as well as per your desire so i'm not going to use them well right after that i'm going to make another duplicate field and i'm going to name it as number so when you type a number google will automatically use the built-in template so we are going to name it as contact number and this field is also required and right after that i'm going to use a multiple option so i'm going to make a field from here and i'm going to choose here from multiple options and we are going to name it as location and we're going to choose multiple options and we're going to name it as pakistan or any other like other or you can use as per your own desire now this field is also required and we are going to create another field and this field is basically for the upload form field which is used to upload something on um, the form this is a resume purpose thing when someone want to upload his resume or any other file so you can use this field and all the data which is being uploaded will be saved on your google drive so you need to Make sure that the drive has enough space you can also select the limit of uploading file so i'm going to select it as 10 mb and you can also specify the file extension that with uh, that what kind of file the uploader should upload so we are going to select it as document file and a pdf file and you can also select the quantities so how many files he can upload so i'm going to select it as five so he can select the multiple files now we are going to make the field as required again and we are going to create the last field that is the time and the date field so you can use the both fields so i'm going to use date field and we are going to name it as date 
and the field is required. Now it's time to view the form and see that how our form looks like. So here's the form you can see that uh, here is all the fields uh, either he can select Pakistan or other or he can choose other and list the other here. Now here's the upload file form and if someone press on add file the uploader form will upload either he can select the file from his drive or from his computer and here's the date so it is very responsive date so he can only select here and the all the date will be entered and he can submit the form now we are going to add some more form fields now we are going to add uh, another part of form that would be the next section of the form so for that go back to your form and going to the bottom of the form and right here you can see the option add section press on that here we are going to use some samples like company information and here is company now I'm going to upload some couple of information related to the company so for that I'm going to add a new image field and I'm going to take the image uh, from the album and I'm going to select the album as this one and I'm going to select this image I'm going to insert it so the image is being inserted and you can also align the image or you can change the image from here so I'm going to name it as company portfolio and I'm going to add an, another field that is some video field so we need to select the video so I'm going to search the video from my channel or you can select the video from the URL as well so I'm going to search again and here is the video so I'm going to insert this video and I'm going to align it as center and I'm going to name it as video presentation and now the main option is here if you want to remove the section 2 after some time so you can select the form option that is form submission option so the section 2 will be disappear after the form 1 but if you want the form 2 so, so you can select the next option here and now it's almost everything is done it's time to view the form again so I'm going to the form and I'm going to refresh the page so here's the form and if I go to the bottom of the form you will see a next option but uh, without entering all the information he cannot see the next option so it shows an error so we need to fill out this information before that we are going back to our form and we are going to make a response option so I'm going to the response here and you can also uh, use some options here you can either delete the response or download all the response in CSV file or you can also select an email for every form notification but this may be done when you are using your email regularly either you can create a separate excel sheet for the form which uh, all the data will automatically entered on your excel sheet when someone fill out the whole form so we are going to make an excel sheet for that so the sheet is being linked so the question is that where the excel sheet would save so if you go back to your drive you will see a form here and you will see an excel sheet and here is the excel sheet folder that contain all the response you can see that now if i open the sheet you will see every field information and all the information will be listed here now we are going back to the form and we are going to submit a form so i'm going to enter the information And I'm going to upload some files so you can select it from your drive or from your computer so I'm going to select this file 
I'm going to select the date and now I'm going to the next and here is the detail and here is the video and it's time to submit the form so the form is being submitted successfully and now we are going to view the response so if I go to the form you can see that here is one response and all the information is on the form is being shown up here but now if I go back to my drive and I'm going to the excel sheet so I can see the whole form information here as well you can see that and the file is being stored in your drive so if I press on this link it will redirect me to my drive and it, it will open my resume so in this way you can make a responsive form and you can also embed or you can share a link of the form into your blog website or Facebook or Twitter pages how you can simply go to this option that is send button and here you can see that the share link so you can simply use this link or you can use a compress link this one so you can simply copy the link and use it on your Facebook page or website you can also embed the form into your blog or website but remember that if your form contains the upload option so the form can't be embed so you need to remove the option of upload to embed the form into your website or blog hope so this tutorial may help you to create responsive form for your website and blogs you can watch my other videos related to google add-ons and script so you can do more with coding apps and tutorials thanks